Okay, so at the bottom of this tree, we're going to have some really kind of piddly branches. So let's go Control and D. So I'm going to leave my four original branches here so I can always find them. And we're going to just move away up the tree. Yeah, about there, I think. These branches don't start right at the bottom. And then we just need to get this first one in place. So we'll move that to about there. Yeah, that's okay. Make sure I'm happy with the angle of it. So I think down the bottom I'm going to have them just pointing down a little bit more. Right, so at the bottom they are going to be quite small, so I'm going to allow that one to stay that kind of size. I'm going to duplicate this, swing it around, swing it around a bit further than that, I think, and then move this into place. So what I found, I was actually surrounded by pine trees the other day, is they actually kind of grow in levels. So you get one, so if this is your, <laughs> this is your trunk, you get them growing around a level, and then they leave it for a bit, and then they grow around another level. So they, they grow in stages, which is nice. It makes it a bit easier for putting together um, trees for what we're doing. Okay, so now I'm going to get this one. And... I've duplicated it, I'm just going to put it in the tree. Okay, so we need this to be in sort of the right place again. So I'm probably going to go for around about five or six per level, I think. So yeah, I like that one. And I just need to move that out of the tree a little bit so we can see the branch. That's okay. Um, I think I'll have another one of these on this level. We can go over there. And let's just move that one to the right place. Definitely need one coming out of here, I think. So let's look for that. I think we'll have this one. So let's try and move this into place. Like so. Okay. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what's the height looking like? Yeah, pretty close. I'm just going to rotate this one down a little bit. Okay, so that's my first sort of level of branches. Um, it doesn't quite look even though. Let's just rotate that down a little bit more. Rotate this one down a bit more as well. Yep, I'm happy enough with that. So you can see I am leaving a little bit bare here, but these trees are very random, so I want to try and capture that. Right, I haven't used this branch yet, so let's have that one on the next level. So I'm going to leave, I think they sort of have about that much of a gap between each level. So let's give that one a go. And they're going to get a little bit bigger on this level as well. So let's just make sure that I'm happy with the position of this one. Yep. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate some of these up. And move them around right like that. Is it a funny angle? So let's do a modify freeze transformations. And that will allow me to just rotate it. Okay, I really want to deal with that bare area there on this level. So let's move that up. And then we'll move that out. Yep, yep, yep. So it's kind of now all a case of arranging branches. Which, it gets tedious, I'm not going to lie. It is a very tedious thing to do. But, when you've got a sexy looking tree at the end, it's worth it. I would argue it's worth it anyway. Let's do a modify freeze transformations just so that I'm going to get a good rotation on this. Yep, that looks okay. Let's have a bit of a rotation on it just to mix it up a bit. 
Um, we'll have this one. Move that one up. I'm just going to move this one around a touch. How many have we got there? Four. Let's have one more. We'll have a small one. Or smallish. There we go. That'll be okay. So you can see that's now coming together. I'm not quite happy with how dense that's going to be. I'm going to move it down a little bit. It's better. So I've now got two rows of those branches. I'm going to do a third row. Again, I'm going to try and be a bit random about this, but then I'm just going to start duplicating branches willy-nilly and see what I end up with because I'm impatient like that. Okay, so we'll have this one next. Let's try and get a fairly consistent sort of... Yep, that's good. Okay, let's have that one rotated right around the other side. And we'll just stick it out there. Yep. Let's get a bit of rotation going on. I like it, I like it. Love this one, duplicate that, move it up. Let's get some rotation going on on this one. I think I need to get a bit closer on that. I think it's sticking out of the tree, yeah. There we go. So that's looking nice. Let's just move that up a little bit more. Okay, I want this branch next. Let's duplicate that up to there. Let's rotate it around a bit. And then we'll move that in so it's not sticking out of the tree again. Yep. Uh, we definitely need at least one more branch on this one. I'm going to duplicate this one around. And actually going to have two quite similar next to each other. Keep it nice and random. I'll have that one quite a bit smaller. For now, anyway. And let's have this one up here as well. Okay. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to try and be a bit lazy about this. Let's Duplicate all of those, move up, and then let's see if we can get away with rotating those all around a bit. Okay, now let's get all of these, let's duplicate them up. Like that. Let's now add a bit more rotation to this, just to randomize it a bit. So we don't want this looking the same. And then I'm going to do this one more time. To about there. And let's get a bit more rotation going on. Maybe I'll just choose a different direction on that one as well, just to mix things up. I think I can probably do this one more time. So let's duplicate again and move all of these up. Like that. Now, of course, at the moment, that's going to look all kinds of wrong. Um, yeah, I don't really want to go any higher than that. So what I'm going to do, put this into vertex mode. I'm just going to now change the height of the tree a bit. That should be okay. Okay, so let's put that into object mode. And now I want to make this a reference as well for a little while because I don't want to accidentally select this while I'm working on the branches. So, um, what is this? Layers. Uh, create layer from selected, let's call this trunk. Or layer underscore trunk like that we'll save that let's reference that layer right now what these branches tend to do is they get a little bit bushier as they go up and then they kind of come back in again as they hit the top so what I'm going to do to try and 
emulate that is I'm going to select this many and I'm going to scale them up a touch and then I'm going to select this many and scale them up a touch and this many and scale them up a touch and this many and scale them up a touch and now anywhere where I'm not particularly happy I'm just going to make them a bit bigger like that I think we need a little bit more going on down here yep that's not bad I'm not happy, happy with the thickness of my trunk if I'm honest I think that doesn't look quite thick enough so let's just bring that up a bit that might be a bit too much Okay, now what I want to do is just put some rotation on some of these. So I think I'm just going to select some at random and do stuff, oh, not that much, do stuff with them. Oh, I don't want the trunk. Why is that not referenced anymore? Okay, let's get these ones. I'm just really getting random selections of or randomish and just doing things with them there we go ah too much okay I'm not too happy with this section here so I'm going to scale these up a bit And there we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I think overall, let's just scale them all up. So the last thing we need to do is just select on the trunk. Oh, we can't because it's reference. Select on the trunk and do mesh display soften edge. And that will just soften that up. So now if we were a player at ground level, We'll be able to look up at this and we get a nice bushy awesome tree so this will work in game it'll be beautiful it's ready to go what we're not going to cover in this tutorial though is what you would do with the normal maps what you would do with the roughness maps how you would import it into game if you are interested in that then if you click on the link on screen then that will take you to my creating game art tutorial series this is a series that takes you through the process of creating a game environment using Unreal Engine and Maya. So you'll create all of your assets, you'll create all of the different texture maps, you'll put them into Unreal, you'll create the really sexy materials, you'll place them around, and you'll be able to create uh, something like what you see on screen. Um, if I haven't finished that yet, you'll be taken to a link that you can uh, be notified when it's complete. If it is finished, you'll be taken to the link to get that tutorial. Right, special thanks to my patrons that helped me get these tutorials made. So um, I'm going to pop their names on screen so that they get in all the thanks they deserve. Cheers, guys. Thank you for your support. Um, if you're not a patron, then please consider becoming one. I do put a lot of effort into making these tutorials. I don't know if it came across on this one. It is really late. Maybe I should only do these in data. If you've enjoyed the tutorial, then please hit that subscribe button, uh, that's what it's there for, uh, and you'll be able to find me other tutorials, I've got a lot more stuff coming up, so make sure that you are subscribed for that. If you've learned a lot about making trees from this tutorial, then hit the like button, and leave a comment below as well. Uh, if you've made any trees using this method, then send me a link to what you've made, I'm always interested to see what people have made based on uh, my tutorials. And that's it, guys. I hope you like it. Uh, I'll make another one soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.